in the wake of the significant earthquake that hit Western Afghanistan in October 2023, UNESCO organized a field mission to the site of Jam with the support of the Aleph Foundation. The site is remote and difficult to get to and, until recently, was largely inaccessible to foreign delegations and experts due to the prevailing security situation. UNESCO dispatched an archaeologist and engineers from its office in Kabul in order to assess the state of conservation of the minaret and archaeological remains, and to meet with members of the local community and the local authorities. The 65-metre-tall minaret of Jam is a graceful, soaring structure dating back to the 12th century CE. Covered in elaborate brickwork with a blue tile inscription at the top, it is noteworthy for the quality of its architecture and decoration, which represents the culmination of an outstanding architectural and artistic tradition in the region. Its impact is heightened by its dramatic setting, a deep and remote river valley between towering mountains in the heart of the Gore province in western Afghanistan. The Minaret of Jam is one of the few well-preserved monuments representing the exceptional artistic creativity and mastery of structural engineering of the time. Its architecture and ornamentation are outstanding from the point of view of art history fusing together elements from earlier developments in the region in an exceptional way and exerting a strong influence on later architecture in the region. This majestic structure is an outstanding example of the architecture and ornamentation of the Islamic period in Central Asia. At 1900 metres above sea level and far from any town, the minaret of Jam stands within a rugged valley at the junction of the Hari and Jam rivers rising to 65 metres from a 9-metre diameter octagonal base. Its four superimposed tapering cylindrical shafts are constructed from fired bricks. The minaret is completely covered with geometric decoration in relief, enhanced with a Kufic inscription in turquoise tiles. Built in 1194 by the great Gurid Sultan Gayas Uddin, who lived between 1153 and 1203, its emplacement probably marks the site of the ancient city of Ferozko, or Turquoise Mountain, believed to have been the summer capital of the Gurid dynasty. The site of the minaret and archaeological remains of Jam received world recognition for its innovative architecture and decoration its influence on the arts and architecture in the region, and its testimony to the heights reached by the Gurid civilization through its admittance to the World Heritage List in 2002. The site faces a number of challenges and remains on the list of World Heritage in danger, demanding special attention and underlining a number of factors which need to be addressed in order to ensure the long-term preservation of the monument and the archaeological site. Not least of these is the seasonal flooding that occurs after the winter snowmelt and the ongoing deterioration of the intricate bricks and tiles that adorn its surface. This mission was an opportunity for UNESCO experts to meet the local site manager, Mr. Baha Udin, who made a range of recommendations for future works and potential infrastructure at the site, to make it more accessible to visitors and to promote economic development for the local communities. بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم اسم بابدین مدیری آبده منار جام منار جام همچنان که مشاهده می فرمایید اول از همه که کچ چیده به طرف دریا هریرود روزانه یا بعضی روزا یا در روز یک دفعه از خشتای میناتوری ازی میفتکه باز از طرف جام که دریای جام بسیار متضرر بیشه سیلاب های زیادی می آه. اگه چی که یک دفعه پاکاری بشید پس دواره پر کده بسیار اشد ضرورت به جلوگیری از طرف جامعه که بسیار متضرر میشه منار جام مشکلات های که مردم این محیط منار جام داره اول از همه تحکیم کاری و کارهای مناره و در درجه دوم پل 
اگه پول پیاده روی نباشه مردم ها این طرف زیاد و طرف زیاد و خارجی و سیاهی این هر کس که میده به پول بسیار مشکلات داره و به درجه سوم یک گستوزی یا مهمون خانه اگه به این منطقه و به این نویه نباشه هر کس که بیاید گوشنه و توشنه پس بر میگرده که به مسیر خود ادامه میتینه از جناب محترم محسه یونسکو خوانیم که به این منطقه یک توجه یک همکاری انجام بتینه Since 2002, UNESCO and its partners have undertaken a range of activities at the site, including test trenches and documentation of both the minaret and archaeological remains identified in the valley. More recently, with funds provided by the Aleph Foundation, UNESCO has executed maintenance and extension of the walls and gabions to protect the site from seasonal and sometimes catastrophic flooding which many believe have been responsible for the slight inclination of the minaret, which may have occurred shortly after its construction. Future works at the site must consider both the conservation demands of this unique monument and the well-being of the nearby communities, who should reap any benefits stemming from potential tourism, which has recently restarted at Jam, enabling them to strengthen their custodianship of the site.